Welcome back to Plan B. My name is Nilaus and we are continuing on our journey here. Thank you very much for your support. As is a, a widely known fact here on the uh, the internet is that um, you just say something controversial and then you get lots of engagement. It is called rage bait and uh, I don't do it here but apparently that the uh, aloe uh, comment was uh, <laughs> was a bit triggering but hey all them uh, comments makes engagement go up and that's what drives the views here so i hope you also enjoyed the video and not just uh, came here for the rage bait uh, so what we have uh, i have actually built a little thing because we want to get into the trains today so uh, here we have a little build and we have accumulated let's see just a few rails and some rail stops as well we also have some trains they are built what are the trains they require hmm where are we uh they're up here yeah trains uh, that's what we built at the end of last time we don't exactly know how many trains we have because we kind of have to build a train line so let's start looking at how the trains work in this uh this game it's a bit weird but also kind of cool uh, so you basically draw lines exactly like it. So this looks like a single train track, but it's not. It's actually two monorails, and uh, that's really important to to get that distinction. And then you put uh, these in. They work in both directions, and and you also have to make uh, intersections so that they can turn around. Since each of these is a monorail, I thought this was one rail track, but it's actually two rail tracks of monorail. So super important. And I've actually made room for this, so we're gonna have to uh, kill some some. Uh, yeah, some of this thing here. City waste disposal, that's also something we're going to be having to work with. Um, the thing is, they work on this stop, and you can have stops here, because like the trucks you can see here, they don't care about it. They just uh, clip through each other. So if that's how the game works, that's how we're going to play the game. Uh, so no uh, no sort of magical thing from us about sort of, oh, we're not allowing that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be... Uh, uh, can I just delete this? Yeah, I can. There, and we're going to drag this through. There we go. That should get us what we want. So what uh, what do we want? We're actually going to... Uh, we're going to keep this depot here. I'm going to have one, two, three, four depots. And I'm going to have four depots of this. Also that one replaced. And we're going to have four depots of this as well. And I'm going to have over here the other four depots of something. Uh, we don't know what that is, but currently we have three things coming in. And to keep it, uh, keep it growing. It won't grow beyond 1,000 because uh, that requires us to take care of the waste, which we haven't done anything at all yet. But we want to get started on the trains. I kind of have a plan for the trains, and I'm also going to make that here just so that we are kind of aware about what it look like. Oops, uh, we're not going to be making any of this. There we go. These are just going to be empty, just, just for future reference. Then we are going to make a little roundabout here where they can turn around. Um, that you're gonna go out and here and this one also needs to be cut out Ooh, that's kind of sad I kind of want to kill that but uh, if I do that I also have to take out uh, a little bit of our city that doesn't really matter that much for the, with regards to our city so we can we can allow the city to be uh, regrown again later on there and uh, that's actually not it there Good, and I'll just take these out. There, and here. And we'll take all this out as well. That should be fine. I don't know what the... Um, hmm, they're kind of not really working. Uh, let's try and see what we would have to do. Okay, we, we can just do that. So this is the destination. I'll set the origin over... Eh, you know what? If we want to be consistent, then at least do this. Cool. A little bit roundabout. This is the origin. Set the destination. There we go. And they are transporting oxygen. And get a ton of these. How much are we getting for the other ones? Uh, this one has 100. So we'll just set 100 as a benchmark. We don't have a lot of trucks. So trucks are not really coming in. So this is going to be our basic uh, station. I know that it is possible to make as additional ones of these. But uh, I kind of want to have one place. And it just looks cool to have this. And this is going to be like a train bus of sorts-ish. And the idea is that, for example, we are going to be simply taking all of this out. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's just take all of this out. It doesn't really matter that much right now. And all that all that mess we just did, and that was completely irrelevant. There we go. So I'm going to be leading this out that way. And leading... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, leading it out the other way. Here. Yeah. That's fine. And we just need to make little stops out here. That was just to figure out some 
if we have new and interesting buildings, let's make a branch out to this location. This will be it. And I'll be making a roundabout because we need to make a roundabout and we need a station. Uh, there are probably many better ways of doing this, but yeah, it's uh, this is how I kind of got into it. This will be oxygen, 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 oxygen. And then from here, uh, since we just have the oxygen here, then we can use these uh, atmospheric extractor. We have a silly, silly amount of that. Also that. Uh, this one is not, not only not necessary, but also just not working. Yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of a, a good stop. We're going to do exactly the same. We're going to take this is going to be the origin and we set the destination. That will be here and you'll be transported oxygen and we want to set one train we have 16 trains one train will actually get us 327 uh, input here so let's have a look at how it works so one train comes in it's huge and uh, if they were just producing fast enough oh wow oh no it's two trains i have okay i have two trains uh well fine fine these are just chucking along they're producing 12 per cycle uh, we can also just extend it out if we wanted to. Oh, we could actually do like this. That would kind of be cool to do that. And then... Okay, that wasn't very cool. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this is producing. And you'll see the stacking up of the carbon. You can see that these are coming in. The trains will kind of be moving at a fixed space once they start departing. And then at some point they'll just speed up when they're not getting enough inbound. Reach a population of 200 in your second biggest city. That's interesting. So this is kind of now going to uh, focus on more than one city. But we have it here. Let's have a look at what it looks like when it comes in. It comes in. These are unloading because these are really quick at unloading. Simply. And it goes over here. It turns around. I don't like that it crosses intersects here. Intersects. But it um, it's the way it is. So that is uh, now we want to transform the other ones to sort of similar builds. That means we are going to have to find uh, this is our reinforced concrete, which will then be taken out. Uh, we can take that out up here, get that up to um, maybe a little build like this. Sure, that's going to be reinforced concrete. Uh, let's build it like this. Ah. We are going to go up. Yeah, and I will get to a station here. We can't name the station. We can't do anything about the stations. They are just... Yeah. And... Hmm. Don't actually like this. No, don't really like it. Uh, because this is just super opportune moment, time, place to do this. Yeah. The, the point of uh, doing this with trains is that uh, you can also just have... Uh, trains still work the same way, so you can't have multiple outputs for the same multiple trains. Train stops. No, what is? what am I saying? You can't have multiple lines at the same stop. That's just not how it, have, how it works. This is the origin. Set the destination at this point. Uh, that will be reinforced concrete. Good. And then I'm going to kill this line. This line will be dead to me. And good. Now that gets out. And you can go in here. Cool. And we are now needing to do the same thing for our high-tech parts. So where are the high-tech parts coming from? What? That's not high-tech parts. This one. High-tech parts all the way from up there. Oof. That's really far away. That's uh, some aluminium. Do we have other aluminium? Is that aluminium? No, that's uh, fluoride. Where do we have aluminium here? Uh, let me just look at the resource over there. That is a miserable place for aluminium. This is a great place for aluminium, actually. Um, and now I can see I don't they cannot cross can they I don't know I don't think so um, but uh, I want to make this bus line here and if I could just like go a little bit further out I wouldn't mind but they look like it a little bit further out is not just a little bit further out but like a lot further out so um, here let's see what is it we want for this we want aluminium primarily Primarily aluminium, but also some polymer bars. That is uh, polymer bars. We can get that anywhere. So let's make it actually in a different way. Let's uh, make a factory that is dedicated that will get two locations in. Hmm, can we do that? This is going to be a little bit tricky in the sense that I want to make a location that has two inputs and one output. Right. That's going to be 
needing a little bit of uh, design work. So let me just uh, try and figure out what that could look like and then uh, we can see. All right, I think we're onto something here. This uh, looks very nice and uh, it basically have, and in this case, we are having aluminum coming in here and we have uh, polymer bars coming in here and they're basically just being produced. Everything can be reached. This one can reach all of these and over on this side, this can reach all of it. This one can also reach all of it. And then it consolidates on the other side as uh, high level inputs or high tech inputs and then they can be brought back. So this one would, for example, be now dragged back down two hour let's call it the bus and uh, be done with it and call it the train bus this one doesn't need to go on the bus but it can just go up to wherever the hell it feels like it and let's go with something like this yeah that looks good that will get up and get some aluminium in here we'll need to make an aluminium uh, location to load aluminium bars and we also need to make another location which is going to be like a really simple one because the polymer bars can be made out of well nothing basically uh, so that's going to be also coming in on train but easier uh, easier with this part here that's actually a really neat design here for for the carbon and um, but that also kind of probably means that we don't need uh, we don't need this one anymore well not really uh, we do need it for now but first i am going to get a little bit of uh, a build over here. Yeah. There. That gets us a lot of this. Is that a... Oh, no. This are, these are Mark 1s. Oh, no. Ugh. What a disgrace to use those. Ugh. At this moment in time. Um, aluminium ore. Yes, please. Right? Yes. Aluminium ore. And from this location, we are going to have to figure out... Let's see... This is the factory doing aluminium ore. This takes uh, produce 30, so it needs 60 inbound. That's kind of a lot. Uh, so we need 60 inbound. That would be 60 would be four miners. So let's kind of keep that in check or as a, yeah, or just at these finger out. So this would be 240 requested. That's a lot of, uh, what is that? Eight, 16 miners. That's not actually so bad. We can make 60 miners. And then we meet more of these. This will be probably like, that's going to be aluminum bars like this. And you can't reach. So I'm going to set that up here. And then we'll get the train line. Yeah. Nope. It looks cool with this. I love how easy it is to make changes and just experiment with the signs and stuff. Uh, that's so nice. This one will now be going to here. Yes, I know it's a bit coiling around and that will get aluminum bars. And all we need now is just a lot of, uh, whoops. And there. Uh, oh, that one's actually okay. On this part as well. One, two, three, four. And we can also get this. So that should be a nice amount that'll help get this over, get this over here. And yeah, that looks pretty good. This is, is that actually correct? Mm. Yeah, every time I come by these things and I just look at them being not ready. This is a depot for throwing aluminum ore. That's a double depot or a bigger depot. Uh, this is a aluminium ore, yes, and this, these are out as well, so there. just make sure that we don't run out of these things there. All right, that's probably fine. Let's start working on some trains here. So these trains, they'll hopefully start getting in here. They can start racking up here. This is an origin, so we need to set the destination. Destination will go down here and set it at this location. It'll transport aluminium or, and there's one train transport 118, 236. I don't care. We'll take one more as that. We'll get three of those. So that'll get here. This is unfortunately taking quite a serious amount. It takes 60s, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10. If it was 10, it was 600 and no, it's 660. So can I transport 660 in here? No, not really, not really. Not even that, but we're getting a little bit of it. And um, then, on this part, it kind of seems a bit silly to do a train for this, but um, maybe we'll just do it anyway. And then basically I want to do something like this. 
go. And then get... Nope, they have to be connected. Yeah, and that connects. And then we want to just fill up the area around here with atmospheric extractors. There we go, and that's gonna be carbon. Yes, carbon, it's good. And then we'll also go over to here, which will then help send it into wherever we want to make the polymer factories. Polymer factories are built in factory settings. One uh, that is polymer bars that takes three carbon. Let's uh, look at the timing. So that's 90 here. There, this one can reach all of this, uh, but can it support it? Ooh, that's another matter if whether it's actually able to support this much. It probably isn't able to support it. Uh, I'm more thinking about the, whether this one can actually feed this. You can see that the things are stacking up. The question is whether these two drones can actually feed enough in here. A bit doubtful. And we'll get this as being the polymer bars, polymer bars, polymer bars, polymer bars. And it goes over. And then we now we're getting used to the pattern. Uh, clearly, well, it looks good, but it's not correct. And we have a station. Uh, is this producing enough? Absolutely not. That is pretty obvious that it's not producing enough. Uh, so let's get more of these in here there there maybe that's helping a little bit cool that should be fine and this is an origin so we just set it into the destination here and you're transferring polymer bars how many 177 it's a bump up to 300 and something that's certainly going to be enough. We'll definitely not be able to support it right now. So you can see the train is slowly moving out. And if it's not receiving anything, which it isn't right now, then it just leaves and goes in here. So at this point, we now have the trains coming in. They are getting split out. All this is being stacked up. This is an origin and I need to set. Oh, hold on. Uh, I'll wait until we actually have something to, to distribute. There we go. This is coming in. And we also have to big work on our second biggest city, which means we need to build a new setup for the second city. And at this point, I kind of feel like, well, isn't it just going to be repeated the same thing? But at least we have an opportunity to make it nice in the first uh, first go around here. And now we're starting to get something in here. That's this setup. And then the destination will be all the way in here. Go. You're going to be high tech parts inbound. That is amazing. And at this point, we can also just uh, take this out and simply all of this. Yeah, I know. Maybe I should have actually taken out the train li this line first. And it would be nice to have an option to delete like a full line, but no, that would actually not be nice because I don't want to delete the full line because it's gonna be shared here. And uh, there we go. So now that's a line that's simpler and we're using trains for more things. So now all three things here are coming in by trains. I hope, let's have a look. Did I make a train here? What? Ah, uh, this is reinforced concrete. That's fine. Uh, this. Oh, there we go. Here's our high check train. Ooh, look at that. And this one's not working. Oh, it is working. We got high check trains, but now it's coming in with lots and lots of high check trains. High check train parts. We'll put these in here. We don't need know what we need them for, and we'll put one in here just to get that border in here. Now, the only thing we need now uh, for this city to work is uh, is getting it, getting some waste disposal. But that's not actually what we're being asked to do. What we're being asked to do is look at one of the other cities. So let's have a look at uh, whether this is a good location to get. We have all the things we want around here, or do we want to look at this one, New Lima, if that's better? I, like distances don't matter as much. We got some aluminium, we got some iron, we got more iron, and we don't need to build like anything aside from this. So maybe we'll just look at New Lima, and from here we'll just make, uh, what is it, what is it, this? Waste disposal? No, it's not that one. There, this one, supply center. We'll get the supply center. I really want the supply center to be at the bottom, but it's not really a good idea. I, wanted, I really wanted it to be clear of this. All right, so maybe Lima is just for uh, forgotten for now we'll put it here and that will now be a setup for us to make one uh you're going to be getting basically first of all you're going to get concrete just for the first 10 
So that's kind of useless, but we're still going to make uh, make it four. Um, all right. That one, yeah, yeah, and on, on, oops. On the other side, this will be concrete, reinforced concrete, yes. And then, oh, I'm just going to make this like the other one, so it's consistent. And we'll have some other ones over here that will just not have any... Might as well get all of this sorted immediately and over on the trains here. And I'm sure that you've come up if you're playing it yourself. I mean, at $9 for this game or something like that, or 9 euro, it's pretty damn cheap, even for an indie game. So uh, no reason not to play it. Oops, I don't want that. Uh, yeah, so if you're playing it yourself, you also have, uh, I'm sure you have other, come up with other ideas for how to do train stations. This, uh, I feel that's pretty damn, damn easy to set up. The first thing though, is actually something completely different. We need to set up that is concrete. So um, we need to get some concrete in here. And uh, let's make some concrete for this location. All right, so we've got a concrete and we're just gonna get the very first parts in by just brute forcing a little bit of here and there I'm going to change this to being concrete and we're going to set this this is a destination so we'll set it at the origin here concrete and just throw a lot of trucks in there we now have a lot of trucks available there we go and what is this one requiring just a little bit of concrete once it gets concrete it goes to level Next one, then it gets oxygen inbound, and oxygen is also something we can just create. Oh, oxygen. Oh, that, that zoom is just so aggressive. And then I wish we had blueprints, right? This is where we really need blueprints, because this build oh, this build is super easy. Right? I, I just want to build this again uh, for an oxygen build. And... Mm, copy! Oh, well. I mean, if I can build it once, then I can build it again, right? So we're going to build it with this location and I'm just going to make it as a little, oh no, it. There. And is it growing? Not really, uh, but it should. Okay. They're just now coming in and over here, let's make this location here and See if I can remember how to do it. One, this is oxygen, 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 oxygen. That one, and we'll make you also an oxygen. And then we just stamp down a lot of the factories, the atmospheric extractor. One, two. Whoa, that's some weird tiles here. Huh. Yeah, some weird tiles. Doesn't matter. We'll, uh, we'll still do it this way. And there. And you now get from this one. This is an origin. And set the destination as that one. And that'll be oxygen. And we have one train. Let's make another train just because. And this is growing. Woo! It's level three. Let's uh, speed up now. Because now we want to see a good, sweet growth here. As soon as we get this one flowing. Uh, this one obviously has to be bigger as well. You can see, we can definitely make it bigger here. And we'll have to build this into a train station soon-ish. But let's, let's keep these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six is consuming three times, so that's 90. All right, that's definitely going to be difficult to get all of this pulled in here. But hey, um, if if all these are working, then it's just, it's fine. And we have trucks and we have this as being five. That's great. What we need now is getting the iron location up here. This iron location, I can start working on this. Ooh, look at that. That's a really flat area. That's nice. So we have to build a location that makes concrete, gets concrete in. Um, we can get concrete in from here. That's not so far away. So we kind of skip this one for now. Yeah, let's uh, prepare the reinforced concrete for something else. And uh, let's make the build exactly like we build it. Like this one. 
So this is a little bit of a different idea and just trying to take a large iron deposit and just focus it as an iron deposit and just exclusively make it into iron, nothing more, nothing less. Just uh, try to drain as much as possible here and then convert it into here. And then we have one, two, three, four potential stops. Each one can serve one train. So I think that's going to be an interesting uh, idea uh, that we can toy with for uh, for future builds that uh, we can make these stations and then sort of just drag it out. And that means now if we need some steel bars, then we can just get a train here and then uh, drag a line to that location. We're going to do the same thing for sulfur even though it's gonna have to be smaller so uh, let's set that up and then we can combine the uh, sulfur no it's not gonna be sulfur it's gonna be concrete so we can combine concrete and uh, iron into a separate build so we have this one for concrete as well and all we need to do is just hook up uh, a lot of this now at this point i don't actually care if i use too many or if i can't reach all of it we'll just get this going and get uh, the production flowing, hopefully as well as possible. These ones will be hard to sort of extract all the way down here, but you know, it'll eventually it'll get it. I might want to do sort of similar to what I have on the other side, just kind of pull it in here, uh, have as many drones as possible pull in, and we'll start striking up on the concrete. We have a good production here on the second city. Now, all we need to do now is combine this and this, and we'll just make that as exactly like we did for uh, this location. Yeah, let's try that. So now we built this location and it is ready to come in. We have on the side steel coming in and on the side concrete coming in. Well, actually they're not coming in. So we're gonna take it from the side and I'm gonna say that destination is gonna be here and I will be taking concrete in and I'll be taking two trains. That's almost 300. And I'm gonna take this one and also set a destination that will be this part and i'll be taking steel bars in and it's gonna come with almost 300 that's gonna be nice to get that in then we're gonna get from the real stop here that's gonna be our concrete or reinforced concrete and it's gonna get a long way and it needs to go into reinforced concrete is that one reinforced concrete yes now reinforced concrete is not really a thing yet what are we doing here we are missing reinforced concrete because we only have the normal concrete and i'm gonna kill that line Oof. And you're going to go out. We'll figure out if you're going to do something else for us eventually. In the meantime, we'll get this stretched out. And what is this? This is uh, concrete. Yes. No. And we should now get, let's see, this one is 48. Oh, we need a lot. Let's get 300 in. I don't know why I'd want 300 in, but hey. If we can get 300 in, we try to do that. So at this point, it is uh, reinforced concrete. What is this? This is concrete. Also, just to take you out as well. That is not going to be a thing. And the oxygen that keeps coming in, we're just going to have a look at where our... That's another oxygen coming out. And here we might have something. Yeah, that's our concrete train. Good. The concrete train will go a long way in here. And uh, then we can get our second city to grow up to 200. That should be pretty easy to get that to 200 at this point. And then we'll wonder what the next milestone will actually be. If you look at these milestones, it's level 9 out of level 10. And I think here, even though this has no unlocked items, that's because we need sort of, as I understand it, we get to level 10 and then we get some new stuff. We also still have waste management that we haven't solved yet. But, uh, you know, one thing at a time. This uh, this one is very much about trains. Oh, look at that. And then you are going to start working 100%. This rattling here is a bit excessive considering all this beautiful city. Oh, look at that. It changed because it's growing. It's growing, it's glorious. Now, uh, then we need to make sure that it can also go to 1000. And that means we need to build basically the same thing that we've built before. We need to build a, um, a location here. This is going to be where we set up our aluminium uh, outpost. Uh, so let's make an aluminium outpost here and then make some carbon uh, polymer outpost, combine them and see where that leads us. First, we're going to just wait for this one to, uh, to get to 200 because that's going to get to 200 very, very soon. I love this little output. We can always make more of these if we want or bigger. There we go. Reach a total population of 3000. So in order for us to reach a population of 3000, we either have to get one above uh, 3000 or one above 1000, or we need all three of them to be 1000 each. The 1000 is when you need to get trash. So we can cap this out and 
until now and then we will have to get into the trash management in the next episode so let's uh, just uh, just for show i'm going to show you what i'm going to do with the high tech parts so we get that last the third part into uh, into our city so now we built the basic components here we have some aluminium bars ready to go here we have a little build a little discreet build i think uh, this is actually a little bit too big here's a nice little build here um, some kind of diamond shape it's actually interesting how it's not so perfect uh, yeah it's because these tiles are sort of growing a little bit and there are some weird tiles somewhere but anyway this is going to be exporting polymer bars i could actually and i am going to just uh, change this now when i look at it i just don't uh, think this is the right way to do it um, might as well just assume that we could potentially also get more um, more uh, more polymer bars used for something in the not too distant future so we'll do that and get these two out and then just uh, stamp down a block at a block and here so now that's uh, that means what I need to do is I need to get from here this will be polymer bars and aluminium coming in and I want to get let's do something like this and something like this and here and you can go up here so that means now these two are going in here they at least can and you're gonna oh let's uh fire them up as they are here i'll set the destination to uh this is polymer bars there we go polymer bars two trains and the other one that's about 200 here set the destination aluminium goes up to that one no um aluminium and that's 200 and something great so that comes in here these are just being loaded super quickly look at that just barely loads all of them because of, of this and they will now go into this location they are being spread out and uh, we are saying the polymer bars being spread out and now comes the aluminium also getting spread out and that gets started in this location and more aluminium and we see like now high tech parts high tech parts great that will go up to just simply leave yeah perfect straight line in great and I, this is a destination so I need to set the origin and I'll set the origin to here and we'll get one train that's gonna be 97 whatever we'll get two trains and here that means we get almost 200 inbound and here we go lots lots of parts this one is working its way towards hmm this is how big is this city how big is the city? Oh, it's 1,000. It's already grown. Insufficient waste disposal. Uh, yeah, so we have that one as well. So uh, now we definitely need to, I can just set it up for the third city as well. And then uh, from the third city, we will now get almost 3,000. And then uh, that will be a good opportunity for us to, to start the next episode with looking at waste disposal and how that's going to work. So I hope you have enjoyed this and take had a look at these a little bit more structured builds and a bit more industrialized builds for train stations. And uh, this is a pretty cool little way. I'm sure that there are better ways, but uh, I have not explored those yet. So um, let me know in the Discord. I think that's the best place or in comment section, but mainly in Discord, if you have some cool setups you want to share, then uh, share them with me. I'd love to see it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button and of course, consider subscribing to the channel to keep up to date with more factory games of all sorts here on the channel. Until next time, take care and stay effective.